You guys good? Yes. yes. All right, you guys ready? Yes. yes. All right, strap on your seatbelts. This gentleman is going to bring it. Been one of my best friends in business. Um, this taught me a lot of things I do know um, because of WG, because of this guy. One of the first guys I met when I first got started 10 years ago. Give it up for Senior Marketing Director Reggie Whiteley. Yeah. Yeah. some WFG basics, right? Because I just want to make sure you guys understand the, uh, you know, the infrastructure of the business, okay? We have a, a very different platform from the traditional industry, right? But we have to get good at the basics, and what are some of the basics, right? Inviting people, okay? So Nick is doing a one-on-one -on -one for me right now where I'm presenting the business opportunity to my guests. Um, think about if we had like 10 guests in there, though. Mm. Man, right? Because, you know, back in the day, they didn't do training for the agents. Everybody just showed up and they did the BPM overview over and over again. They said, why everybody waiting around? I should train the agent, right? <laughs> so it's, it's a great opportunity, you guys. We got to get people here, right? got to get people here. I couldn't wait. When I had a guest, I couldn't wait for whoever doing GT to hurry the hell up. That way I can go interview my guests, right? So I want to get them in the business opportunity and show them how good it can be. Make sense? So we, we got to really get good at getting people here. Inviting, inviting, inviting. So we're going to go over that today, right? We're going to go over some good words and some bad words, okay? I know some of y'all out there saying bad words. I ain't talking, I'm talking about cussing and stuff. I'm talking about, <laughs> talking about WMG words, right? And then we're going to talk about some compensation, how we get paid, right? Yeah, Everybody's buddy. in here to make money at the end of the day, Yes. right? Yep. We, we help a lot of people, but... If you're not helping anybody, right, on a, on a daily basis or a weekly basis, you're not being compensated, okay? And people get into business for what? For profit, mm -hmm. right? To leave currently what they're doing or leave that behind to have a better life and pursue something better, and it, it happens through this opportunity, okay? So, write this down. Vertically, Rita. I've been knowing this lady for a long time. <laughs> She's good to me. Her name is Rita. She'll be good for you too, no matter if you're a man or a woman. Okay. R stands for recruiting. All right. The I is, is I S. The T is the. The A stands for answer. So recruiting is the answer, you guys. So whatever problems you're going through right now, whether it's financially, whether it's um, you know not having a team here whether it's a, a slow pace and you having guests here, um, you gotta recruit, right? And before that, you gotta talk to people. And I know we get up here and tell you, go talk to people and, and different people and, and that you don't know, but as a newer person, and when I say newer person, you've been here six months, a year, two years, right? You should still be tapping into your warm market, okay? Tapping into your warm market, so don't get so crazy with prospects that you free, that you neglect the people that you already know. Make sense? So, because that's, the, at the end of the day, this business is uh, a bunch of buddies and buddies and buddies and buddies at the end of the day, okay? Or you, you turn a stranger into a friend. That makes sense? So, uh, we gotta give us some basics, you guys. Ethor, we're gonna do some, a little bit of role playing here today too. Ethor, booking appointments and invite folks down here. Who knows what Ethor stands for? Besides that. <laughs> Somebody been here six, six months already. Okay, good. I'm glad we went over this because we're learning stuff today. Ethor, you write that vertically too. Excited, right? I'm excited. I'm in training. Help. Opinion. And referrals. 
So with right now, that right there, you guys, the acronym right there, it'll completely change your life if you get it down. But we gotta get it down. Like it has to sound like a regular like, conversation to have with people. So if I call, if I call um, Thomas, right? Ring ring. <coughs> hey Thomas, it's me, Reggie. Reggie, what's going on? Hey man, how are you? Pretty good, how are you? How's the kids, Mia? Good. Keeping us busy, man. Awesome, man, awesome. I don't know if you heard or not, but I just got started with a new financial firm. Okay? And I'm pretty excited about what's going on. I'm going through some training right now, and I was calling to see if I could, if you could help me out. Sure. You know, we've known each other for a little while. Your opinion is pretty important to me. If you like it, if you like what you uh, hear, hopefully you can shoot me some referrals. Yeah. Sound like a casual mm -hmm. conversation, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. right? So you guys got a, you guys got a top 25 of people that of names and numbers that you. Uh, accumulated right if you're newer if you're so newer i'm doing this because everybody here is pretty new but you got to get that down right you're putting your we're out there prospecting with people that we don't know and then we get mad when they say get away from me <laughs> they don't know you <laughs> of course it's weird <laughs> to them right but you have a list of folks that you have credibility with right like i was already said your chicken list that we haven't even tapped into Waiting for them to call you, right? So Ethor, excited, training, help, opinion, referrals, right? Have I got that down? Yes. yes. Okay, and we'll go over some objections in, in a little bit too. But that can be used also, uh, again, for when you're, when you're booking appointments as a newer person and also uh, getting folks down to the office, okay? So we're gonna role play that a little bit. So again, excited, training, help, opinion, referrals, okay? Also write this down. Feel, felt, found. This is, so after you give them the, after you give them that, the acronym, I was gonna say, well, you know what, Reggie, I, I, I don't have any background in that. You know, Thomas, I know exactly how you feel. I kind of felt the same way. That's what I come to find out. You know, I understand all the stuff you go through. Um, when you had a restaurant industry, a lot of folks come from that background know pretty well. Makes sense to know how you feel. How about uh, weekdays or weekends work better for you? Uh, weekends. Weekends, Saturday or Sunday? Saturday. Saturday? Okay. I have a two and a, a four open. Mm, four. Four. Let me give you the address to my office. Boom. Just like that. So, over re repetition, you guys, is the mother of all skill. Over and over and over again. Okay? So, we're gonna do some role playing here today. Get an ethor down because I know everybody has a, a list of contacts that they have not uh, tapped into. This is why I asked you to bring your top twenty-five. Okay. So right now, three names and numbers of folks we have not talked to, or if you have talked to them, but you, you haven't invited them down here, or we haven't sat in front of them. Three names and numbers right now. Who you got? Take one man to do that. Three names and numbers. You want me to give it to you? Take no, you just write them down. Right yeah. Down. I think we got here. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty people maybe. Sixty freaking names. And numbers. Everybody recruited one person. Now we have forty. Can I see the math here? Three, three names and numbers. I got it. This is gonna help you, trust me. This is going to help you. All right, you guys got them? No. Almost. Y'all scrolling through your phones, uh, maybe I should call him, maybe I shouldn't. Put him down. <laughs> He's waiting for you to call him. I don't want to put him down. You don't know. You don't know what they're going through, right? Okay. One, who you got? You have none? No. No names and numbers? No. I have names, I have numbers. Yeah. Okay. You got a whole 100 right there. You got, no, you got phone numbers? No. Okay. So we know what the next step is to get you, right? Yeah. Matt, make sure you get. Carlos, what you got? Who you got? No, I got three people. 
Uh, I, I, this one I've already said before is my friend Adrian. Okay, you sat down with him before already? No, I haven't. I've, okay. told, I've told him about like what I'm doing, but okay. I've never like told him to come here. Okay. But him, uh, my friend uh, Isaiah, uh, and then my friend Ricky. Ricky. Okay. So boom. So after the BPM, we gotta call those three folks. Chris, who you got? Uh, George, uh, baseball coach. Marcos, another baseball coach, and Chris, another baseball coach. Okay, you haven't talked to him about the group no. before. <laughs> boom. That's six. Right, Rosario, who you have? I have my sister-in-law, Flory. Um, I haven't talked to her. She knows what she's doing, but I haven't talked to her in wider, so just sit down. Um, Fred, my friend for 30 years. Um, Jess called him, so we got to sit in. Bam. I got him on for this time of week, and then my uh, niece, Evelyn, uh, we're gonna sit down with her this week. Awesome. Sherry, you have anybody there? Yeah, I have a friend out in North Dakota, AJ. Okay. And uh, and then my niece and nephew, uh, Missy and Miles. Okay. And uh, a tri driver friend of mine, mm -hmm. I think, that might be interested in doing this. Okay. Bam. We got a whole new office down there, right? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Got my cousin Maddie. Got okay. my mom's friend Tammy. Okay. And then my ex girlfriend's mom. Okay. Hey. Listen, <laughs> 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 I got to. Hey. You never know. They need, they need too. I got to SMD. One of my legs SMD was my brother's baby mama's boyfriend. Okay. <laughs> okay. I'll let you let that marinate a little bit. <laughs> all right. But hey, I'm glad I talked to her. And we tap root and all that good stuff. So, you, so after this BPM, immediately before we leave, right, and go home and put your shoes and shorts on and go cut the grass. Before you do that, make those calls today, right? Since so we have like a mini phone zone because everybody has three names and numbers, correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Joe, you have any? You have three? Yeah, I have two. Okay, perfect, perfect. We want to help you explode your business, like today. We're going into September with a whole new, a whole new mindset, right? Growth. Write that down for me. Growth. Because just with that, I mean, if we brought on board one of those three, we fill up half the chairs. You guys understand what I'm saying? Yes. So always think growth. Who can I add or acquire into my business? Who wants to be on my team? That should be your dominating thought as soon as you wake up. Who's gonna be on my team today? Zach, you wake up, throw your suit on, who's gonna be on my team today? Anthony, get off work, boom, who's gonna be on my team today? Sure. Right? You should think of yourself as the Simon Cowell of WFG. You guys, you guys watch America's Got Talent? No. You don't watch it. Yes, I do. You, you don't know. But they're looking for the best talent, right? And so are you. You're looking for the best talent. You are the Simon Cowell of WFG. Who are one of my team and who's, who has the best talent? Because the person that you do not talk to or the person you don't put on, their, on that list, I tell you what, they're going to be on somebody else's team. My mindset is this, you know, Cynthia Moore down in, down in uh, Marietta, she's a really good prospector, right? I tricked myself and said, I don't prospect these people, recruit these folks, they're going to be on Cynthia's team. These are my best friends, too. But I'd rather have her, them on my team, not her team. <laughs> right? That's right? So we're always competing. But you got to think that. So Chris, boom, so if you get off work, bam, who's going to be on my team? Right? Good stuff? Yes. 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 So we're going to role play some of the EFO really quick, you guys. Okay. So you, got, you guys got feel, felt, found, right? Yep. I understand how you feel, right? When I come to find out, boom, is this. And you fill in the blanks. All right, who wants to go first? You for one. Sorry, y'all. So you're going to call... You're going to call Chris, okay? Chris is, I don't know, whatever relationship you guys have. A friend, right? And he's on your list, okay? So this, this, is, the, this is the call you guys have to master, right? Because your trainer's gonna make some of the calls for you, but it's up to you, to, you know, take the initiative to make the calls also, right? So, Rosario, call Chris, boom. Three rings. Hello. Hey Chris, how you doing? This is Rosario. Hey, what's up, Rosario? How are you? Uh, I'm doing great. Um, awesome. uh, how's your family? 
You know, they're doing pretty well today. Um, my dad's in LA, my mom's here cleaning up the house, um, but that's about it. How's your family? Awesome. We're doing great as well. And um, just wanted to talk to you a little bit. Um, I'm excited to start a new business. I don't know if you've heard, uh, it's a financial firm and um, I'm currently in training and I need your help. Will you help me? Um, well, well, what can I do to help? Well, your opinion matters to me because I trust you with your uh, judgment. So um, let's uh, get together and show you what I'm doing. Uh, if you like what you see, what you hear, maybe you can uh, refer me to some people. Uh, would uh, a weekday or weekend works for you? Um, I think a weekday would probably be best. Okay, great. Uh, morning or afternoon? Uh, afternoon. Okay, I have an appointment or opening at 7 or 5 o'clock. Which one works best for you? Uh, 7 would be better, yeah. So awesome, awesome. Well, let's get together. You want to meet at your house or you want to come over to my office? Um, where's your office located? It's about 15 minutes from your home, so it's very near. Okay, uh, we can do that, yeah. Okay, so let me give you the address. Blah, blah, blah. And uh, seven o'clock, uh, what day of the week is good for you? Um, you can do a Wednesday, Wednesday. Okay, so I'm writing it down Wednesday at seven o'clock. <coughs> and I'll see you at my office, and this is the address. So see you then. Sounds good. Thank you, good to talk to you, talking to you. Nice talking to you, everybody. I'll be there around the clock. Good stuff? Yeah. Can you guys do that? Yes. 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 Absolutely. Right? What if you made 10 of those calls, like Matt was talking about, you made 10 of those calls every single day? Right? Game over. You'd be so strong on the freaking phone. Right? Now, some objections. Always not going to be that easy. Right? Yeah, I come to my house, let me show you what I do. They want to know what the heck is it. Right? What it is. They want to know what, what, what the heck it is. So, what is it? Write this down. We show families how to retire early and pay less in taxes. Less than Thank you. We show families how to retire early and pay less in taxes. All right, now your whole goal is not to go have a 30 minute conversation. Phone calls should be maybe five minutes. I'll say two to five minutes because you have other people to call, right? So don't get into, oh, did you watch Scandal or whatever, you know, don't get into all that conversation. <laughs> the objective for a phone call is to book an appointment. Make sense? Yes, sir. We show families how to retire early and pay less in taxes, right? Make that like a bullet point. Another one is, um, are you familiar with Charles Schwab and Merrill Lynch? Are you familiar with Charles Schwab and Merrill Lynch? We're in the same industry. The difference is the people we serve. They work with upper income families. We work with all families, especially middle income. I think it makes sense we get together. Can you just add on your system that will get in there? Old, old school BS that says 12 and 13. I know. <laughs> I know. <huh? laughs> We'll find it, we'll find it. Yeah, if you find it, I'm gonna look for it. If you find it, let me know. Are you familiar with Charles Schwab, Merrill Lynch? We're in the same industry. Oh, we're in the same industry. We work with, the, oh sorry, the difference is the people we serve. They work with upper income families. We work with all families especially middle income. It makes sense we get together. What works best for you, weekdays, weekends? <coughs> I'm asking them which, which works better, weekdays and weekends, that's, talk, that's called alternative choice, right? Psychologically, they have to pick a day and a time, right? They're on your time, right? You're busy. Don't, you know, weekend or cater to, oh, I can only do this, that, well, hey man, this is when I'm available. When you go to the doctor for a doctor's appointment, they let you know when they're available, right? Same thing with you, there's no difference, right? Can you imagine showing up to the doctor, hey doc, I'm here, see me. Hey man, you don't go online and book an appointment, <laughs> right? Everybody got that? Yep. All right, let's try it again. Um, Zach, <clears throat> you're going to call 
Anthony. Actually, you know what? Call Juan. Let me call Juan. Hello? Hey, Juan, it's Zach. And don't look at each other, because you're on the phone unless you got other okay. one. Like, <laughs> 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 hey, girl. <laughs> oh, hey, we call. We call. All right. All right, Zach, go ahead. Hey, Juan, how you doing? Pretty good yourself. Hold your phone. Put your phone up to your ear. Hold your phone up to your ear. That'll help. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna start that over. Okay. <laughs> ring, ring. He'll, call, he'll call you back. Go ahead. All right. <laughs> ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Juan. It's Zach. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good, Zach. How are you? I'm doing great. I don't know if you heard, but I started with a new financial firm, and I'm excited. Uh, I'm in training right now, and I really value your help. Uh, and I fucked that up already. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Still there? Yeah. Okay. Still there. Sorry. Right. Ring. Hello? Hey, Juan, it's Zach. How are you doing today? Pretty good yourself? I'm doing great. Uh, how's the family? Pretty good. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I don't know if you heard, but I started with a new financial firm, and I'm excited. Uh, I was wondering if you'd be willing to help me with my training. Sure, how can I help? Uh, well, I really value your opinion since I've known you for a long time, and I was wondering if we could sit together, and I can show you what we do, and you could give me your opinion and possibly give me some referrals. Yeah, of course. I can help. Awesome. Uh, would a weekend or a weekday work better for you? A uh, weekend. Okay, uh, Saturday or Sunday? Uh, Saturday's fine. The morning or evening work better for you? Morning, please. Okay, well, how about 7 a.m. or 9 a.m.? 7 a.m. is fine. Awesome, well, I'll see you at 7 a.m. Damn. Back after early in the morning, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so, you gotta practice that, right, Zach? You gotta practice Definitely. that. So, you guys understand that? Because you're going to go through a couple different phases in the business. Write this down. Awkward, right? Mechanical, and then natural. I mean, early in the business, all of us have gone through that, where you sound very awkward. Uh, e, uh, 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 sound like you're doing, learning your vowels again, right? And then you go mechanical, right? Hello, Juan. My name is Reggie. Uh, I am excited, help, training, referrals, right? <laughs> so then you go go through natural. So, but that's gonna take, again, some time, repetition. You guys gotta practice this stuff. When you're not here in the office, right, at the BPM, you gotta be practicing this stuff. This is how you get good. That's why we have phone zone. That's why we call a phone zone on Monday night, to help you with the calls, right? So Zach, now in the next couple of weeks, that's gotta flow, right? One, two, okay? So again, awkward, mechanical, then natural. Okay, let's just do one more. Let's just hear the natural, the natural phase. Anthony and um, and Matt, go ahead. Matt, you're uh, Anthony. You're calling Matt. Okay. Ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Matt. Uh, this is Anthony. How you doing? What's going on, brother? I'm doing well. How's uh, how's the kid in studio? Doing very, very well. He's getting big and fat. <laughs> Growing up pretty quick, right? Yep, he sure is. Yeah. Hey, you got a minute? Yeah, I do. What's going on, man? Hey, uh, I don't know if you heard, but I actually got started over here with a new firm, financial firm. I'm really excited. I'm actually in training right now, and I could use your help. Uh, would you be able to help me out? Sure, man. What do you need? Yeah, so I just wanted to get uh, at least 30 minutes of your time to get your opinion, uh, see uh, you know what, what it is that I'm doing, and possibly if... You can help me out with show me some referrals in the future. Um, but what's your schedule look like next couple of days? Are you more open during the day or in the evening time? You know, that sounds good, but you know, what is it all about? Yeah, so are you familiar with uh, companies like uh, Merrill Lynch or Charles Schwab? Yeah, those really big investment companies. Yeah, exactly. So we work in the same industry as they do. It's just the differences the people that we serve. They have more of the rich and wealthy families. We help with all types of families, including the families in the middle class, which you can agree you need the most help with the money, right? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, so that's more of the reason why we need to get together. Uh, so are you more open during the daytime or the evening time for tomorrow or, or Monday? 
Um, you know what? I actually have to work tomorrow, um, but I'll be off by two o'clock in the afternoon, so the evening would work out perfect tomorrow. Okay, perfect. So like around six or eight? Uh, eight o'clock would be better because we have dinner at six, and then uh, we'll put our son to bed by about seven. Okay, okay, yeah, then uh, I'll make sure I have um, let my trainer know about that as well because I am going to be coming with my trainer at, at eight o'clock. Uh, so. Uh, do you still live in the same place, right? Yep, we still live in Eastfield, same spot. Okay, okay, definitely. So I'll, I'll make sure to give you a call on that tomorrow. Just a reminder that we're coming at 8 o'clock, and we'll see you then. All right, sounds good, dude. All right, see ya. All right, you guys round of applause. <laughs> So you see the awkward, the mechanical, and the natural, right? It was a little lengthy, but um, as long as we get the appointment booked, that's the goal. Okay? Good stuff? Yes, yes. Sir. yes. Write this down. Where performance is measured, performance is improved. Where performance is measured, performance is improved. Repetition is the mother of all skill, you guys. So you guys correlate it to like working out, right? Correlate it to working out. It's gonna be weird, it's gonna feel funny, it's gonna hurt, right? Some people are gonna tell you no, okay? That lets you know where you stand with them too, right? If you put them on the list, maybe your credibility is not what you thought it was. What makes this run smoothly when you're calling off your list, right, is your credibility at the end of the day. If you're a credible person, it, it, it runs very smooth. I'm not saying you're not, but it runs smoother when you have a, a deeper relationship with that person, right? If you're putting some folks down that you got referred from somebody, it makes it easier also. So make sure you, um, make sure the people you're putting down on that list, you have some credibility with, right? Or if they got referred to you, make sure that person's credible, okay? That, that's very, very important. So I, when, I, when I'm field training sometimes, we, we put people down that we haven't talked to in, you know, three or four years. And you know, they may help you, but the credibility is not like it, you know what I mean? Not there like a natural person that you talk to on a, on a regular basis. That make sense? Okay. So, on your papers, we're going to go over some good words, some bad words. Can we do that? Can we yes. practice that? Yes. yes. Those phone yes. calls. Yes. All right. So, on a Franklin, like a Franklin T, right, can you put good words and bad words? Words and bad words, right? Bad word. Recruit. Zach is my recruit. Zach is a person. He's not luggage. All right. <laughs> His feelings, emotions, all that stuff. We say that's my new recruit. Sounds like a uh, property. So bad word is like it's my new recruit. Good word would be business partner. Right? Business partner. Okay? Sounds more professional. More professional, right? Upline. Mm -hmm. I messed this up in the beginning. I'm like, hey, my upline's gonna call you. You're what? <laughs> <laughs> what is that? My my director or trainer? Or, or, you know, sometimes we say leader, you know, WSG leaders are kind of weird sometimes. Like, leader is kind of kind of hokey, you know, like take me to your leader, you know. <laughs> you know, so director or trainer. Or boss. Boss sounds like real job-like, you know. I like to say, I like to say uh, director, trainer, or hiring man, you know, hiring, uh, hiring. Um, Review my resource manager. No, not director. <laughs> I like to say director, um, director and training. All right. Um, BPM. We call it a BPM. It, it, I would say it's a bad word, but it's not something you use in the everyday world. Okay. So instead of BPM, because if I call Tom and say, "Hey, I want to invite you to my BPM," <laughs> would you call me? Right. 
my corporate overview or my open house, okay? Hey Sherry, I just want to see if you're available to come to my open house. Or corporate overview, okay? All right, so we want to say, uh, we can give you also SMB, right? People out there don't know what SMB is. Okay, SMB, we use brokers. People are more familiar with the brokers. Okay. Commission. Is it all commission? No, this is how we're compensated. Compensation. Show you how, how let me show you how our compensation works. Right? Our compensation. Alright. Recruiting. This is depending on who you're talking to, right? I like hire, hiring, or developing an agency. We're always hiring or expanding, right? Bad word, closed. Matt, I closed her. No, <laughs> helped. I helped that family, right? And, I mean, again, you know, <coughs> depending on who you're talking to, because closing is helping, right? But you want to use Again, more professional terminology. So I was able to help that family or put that family in a better position, right? You know, no high five when you leave the parking lot. That's the we closed her. <laughs> None of that stuff. Okay. AMA. Nobody knows what the heck that is. Okay. Application. Well, Nathan, when we fill out your application and see if we can get you approved, when we get you approved, we're going to issue your agent ID with us. And we fill out your AMA. AMA? Yeah. They start thinking about it. People start thinking all crazy stuff. They'll fill in the blank. So, so don't AMA, all the acronyms we have, you'll learn them in a business, but application versus AMA. All right? Cost. What's it going to cost? Instead of cost, initial investment. Initial investment, okay? You guys got good stuff down here? Yes. Mm -hmm. Good stuff? Yes. 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 So that way, you know, you're out there when you're prospecting and all this other stuff, you know, you know, what to, uh, you know what to say. Or if you're making a phone call, right? Fill that some of this stuff in, okay? You guys got all this? Yes. yes. We'll go to some conversation now. This help it? Yes. 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 Everybody got this, right? Yes. yes. All right. What you say? Not the stinky stuff, is it? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Can we can we implement this? Yes. Today. Yes. Immediately after the BPM. Yes. I'm sorry. Corporate yes. Nobody made them It'll work, Ryan. It'll work. Mr. Spot. <laughs> Mr. Spot. 
front, I'm going to straighten me out. There we go. Okay. So, <laughs> let's talk compensation. Because we, we're here to make money, right? Yes. yes. Okay. My rule of thumb, you guys, is this. You know, to, to expand, expand your business, blow this thing up, we got to keep it simple. So, on a weekly basis, this is something you want to focus on every single week. One new business partner, whether you're part-time or full-time, hiring one new business partner and collecting two fifty in payments. Okay? You guys understand that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So from a Sunday to a Saturday, right? So perfect. Tomorrow is September 1st, right? <clears throat> Next week, by September 7th, your goal is to have one new business partner. Hire one new business partner. And in that week, going on your appointments to collect 250 in premium. Everybody makes it, that makes sense to everybody? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. So if you're on an appointment, let's say Matt takes out one, when Anthony takes out one, and you guys go on two appointments, and the client, both clients save 125 bucks. Boom. There you go. You do one and 250, you one and 250, and you are direct. Right? That makes sense? Yes. yes. You did your job for the week. Your part-time business, right? What does that look like at each level? <clears throat> I'm sorry. So 250 times 12. That's 3,000. So that's 3,000 dollars. We get paid on a point system, okay? So that 3,000 dollars is equivalent to 3,000 points. You guys, got that? Yes. <laughs> The training associate is what? 30%. Okay? Associate. Who's associate in here? What's your contract level? 45. All right. Make sure you know. I love it up there. So. <laughs> Who's the senior associate in here? What's your contract level? 55. 55. Very good. Trying to know what you're getting paid. Who's the marketing director in here? All right. Contract 62. 62%. Man, I wonder MD getting their ring. The old SD contract. Yep. Right? The SD and the SD you got in here? Mm -hmm. Which yeah. contract? 80%. 80%. Okay, so let's say you did this here, right? And so if we do this, let's say you do this every week, right? How many weeks in a month? Four weeks, Four. right? Yes. So that's 12,000 in annual premium. That's what you did every single month. That's 12,000 points. You guys follow me there? Yeah. Okay. So if we take 12,000, right, times 30%, what is that? 3,600 bucks. So we're looking at monthly, okay? Look at that monthly. That's 3600 bucks times 12. That's what they say this for a whole year. Let's say you just focus for one whole year. Boom. So 3600 times 12 is what? 43,000. 43,200. 43,200. Obviously, it'd be more than this. You'd be promoting and stuff like that. Just say you just stayed, did it for a whole year. So you make 43,200 bucks bringing on one new person a week and going out in the field probably two or three times a week. Every single week. Part time. All right? So, boom, 45%. All right? So 12,000. You guys understand what I'm doing? It's making sense? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Yep. You sure? Yes. We got a quiz on Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> So 12,000 points times 45%. What is that? 5, Associate. 5,400. 64,800. So we're looking at annual. 4,800. Associate, making $64,000. That's your watch. Have any money issues? One recruit, 250. Ain't crazy how you just break it down a little bit? 
right? Not that hard, okay? So 12,000 points times 55%. What is that a month? 6,600 times 12, 12 months. 79,200 bucks. That's not bad. There you go, Rosario. Right. Boom. Right. Associates, Zach, Anthony. Bam. So you guys are training associates. And if you did this, you would not stay at this level. You'd probably be at SMB already. You ran for a whole year. Mm -hmm. with, a, with a pretty healthy base shop. Okay? So we're going to figure out which, we're going to look at what the team size would be also. Marketing director, MD. 89,280. 89,280. For a whole year, right? We take it week by week, but that's what it look, would look like for a whole year. Like uh, breaking it down to the ridiculous, I like to call it, right? So, Let's do this. So we did, that's one direct a week for a month, every, every week in a, in a month. That's 48 directs. Can I see how I got that? One direct a week for a whole year, 48 directs. The direct convention, I think they did it with the top 100. Yeah, this one's like 43. So you, you walk across stage at convention. Right, 48 directs. And let's say half of these people stay, right? So you got 24, right? And let's say 12, half of those got licensed. Three years, you got 36 licenses. Boom. Pretty good, huh? Yeah. So based on like Nick was saying, you know, 25, probably 30 grand a month. Could you could you start up on that? That'd be good enough for you guys? 30 grand a month? Yeah. Just add? Yeah. Cool with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. And points wise, what is that? 100, 144,000 points? Yep. 144,000 personal points. 144,000 personal points. And like I said, the numbers I think would be bigger because this is just you. We're not even talking about field training. Right? If I bring Zach on board, right, I still got to field train him, but I'm still building my base shop too. So then I'm showing Zach how to do this. So this is just personal stuff. This is like, you know, fluff numbers. But does it make sense? Yes. So the focus though is this right here. I'm telling you, we focus on that, you guys, every single week, we don't fit in here anymore. And that's your income. Think about how many families getting help you have another 36 license agents on your team. Oh, right? You know what all? Good stuff? Yeah. yeah. All right, I want to go over one more thing. <clears throat> I'm going to go one more thing. And it's uh, how we get paid a little bit from each company. Because I know we all write Transamerica, and that's the majority of our business, but I just want to make sure you guys understand. You do have other options, but just in case you have to write some, Write another uh, another company. Everybody understand forty sixty, right? Yep. yep you yes. get forty percent advance for, upon submission. Yes. And then sixty percent on the back end once the policy gets approved and delivered. Okay. So Transamerica. Okay. I'm not sure if you went over this in your fast start, but if you did, go on over now. Okay, so these other companies are like our nationwide. Okay, or our Pack Life, Pacific Life, or Prudential. Etc. Etc. Okay, we got guys. We have like a hundred and some companies. So, but we get paid 
from these other companies, okay? Training Associates, 25%. MD's 50, aren't you? 50, that's all. So 50. So I just want to bring that to your attention because if you, it's, you know, you write a case or you write an app and you think it's always this, but you wrote with another company, you gotta you know, switch up the math. So if you write with another company outside of Transamerica, you will do your math at this contract. That makes sense? Mm -hmm. So it's very important because right now it's a rollover game. A lot of people are doing a lot of rollover. You make big money from rolling over money, okay? So if a client has, I don't know, $250,000 and you roll it over, more than likely you're gonna do it with one of these companies here. So you can go off the compensation off of that. That makes sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's do an example. Some of y'all look at it like use a simple oh, I was gonna say three hundred, but okay. Let's say two hundred thousand. Right? <clears throat> so two hundred thousand, whatever company we do business with, let's say it's nationwide, and this is money coming from an old 401k. Uh, when somebody left that job and they're working somewhere else. Any crazy people leave the job but then they leave their money there? Mm -hmm. No more sense. <laughs> All right? So whatever company you do business with, they're gonna pay us, let's say, six percent. What is that? Twelve thousand? Yep. So twelve thousand. So that's twelve thousand points. You guys got that? Mm -hmm. Twelve thousand points. Times, let's say I'm a senior associate. So what company would I do it with? Transamerica or Nationwide. Nationwide, right? Times 45%, what is that? $5,450. Boom. Rolling over 200000 Ain't bad, huh? Fifty four hundred bucks. Thirty days. No, no charge backs. Back, mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. No charge backs. Ain't you're not canceling. You just moved over two hundred thousand dollars. Right? This is how you beef up your cash flow. So when I, when I sell, or I know Matt has done quite a few, uh, Nisa and stuff like that. We're talking about rollovers. We're we're moving money from an old account into something better. More than likely, like an annuity or something. Okay. But you don't see that stuff if you're not in the field, booking appointments. Mm -hmm. right, so it takes it back to the very beginning, right? Getting good at booking appointments. Because the three people on your list, they have probably got some money to move. But they don't have their, their money in, a, in, a, in the best situation, right? Or they're open to making some more money, right? One of those three things that happened with those three people that you wrote down earlier today. Make sense? Yeah. So we got to call them. Good stuff? Yes. yes. Right on time. Questions? How can you go over the uh, what it takes to uh, go from TA to A to SA to? Sure, sure. The whole math process. Huh? So, training associate, you're a training associate. Thank you for bringing it up, Chris. So, the fast start, the fast track, I'm sorry, is 3 3 30, right? Three business partners, three clients in the first 30 days. If you are a training associate right now, don't take this personal, right? You. I say this, you have to do 3 3 30. It's hard to make a, a lot of money at training associate. There's no training associate that's dominating the company. Okay, so get quickly, quickly get out of training associate, right? We'll help you do it. But you, it's a choice. Training associate is a choice. Okay? So if you're still a training associate, quickly get out of that. All right? That's how you get uh, uh, associate. Senior associate, 10, 10, 30. Okay, I'm gonna give you the, the fast start route and then we also give you the traditional route in case you don't hit it in 30 days. And now it's to equal 10,000 points. So 10, 10, 30, 10 business partners, 10 clients in your first, th in, in 30 days. You right? and your team. And you and your team. So this is you and your team. So if I'm Andrew Nett and I recruit three people, right, I hit my three and three, what do you think they're expected to do? I'm gonna help them do? Three and three. three, and three. 
right? So now, if I'm asking that, I'm now a senior associate, but I've, I got my teammates to associate, and I got a 10% override. So there you are. Right? This will fire you guys up, man. You got 10 people on your team right now. Right? You hit BBC 10, okay? And it's got to equal 10,000 points. So if I'm running for this right now, which you all should be, and by Wealth Bowl, you know, we want to expect to hit, I mean, promote a, quite a few uh, senior associates, excuse me, and marketing directors. Right? By Wealth Bowl. Okay? This for the psychos. 8MD. 25, 25, 30. Right? 25,000 points. In this case, psycho is a good thing. Psycho is a good thing. You know, Eric Jim Lee did that his first month. Oh, all right. Don't look at this like, oh my gosh, 25 people. Once it's rolling, you guys, it's rolling. You can't even stop it. And it's, it's a beautiful thing. Because guess what from here? If we go back to uh, the first step of the fast start, right? Phone calls, appointments, taking some of these people on 10 appointments. That's 250 appointments. If you aren't horrible, you'll close something, right? <laughs> or, or you'll be able to, uh, also expand the team. So, you guys got this? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. SMD, you guys know what it takes to get SMD? 10 licensed agents. 10 licensed agents. 75,000 team net points. All right. $20,000 cash flow in six months or 35,000 in 12 months. And your exchange. Okay. Well, we want to. We expect to promote a bunch of S, uh, SAs and MDs. Okay. The traditional route is, let's say you don't hit in 30 days, right? Is 30,000 points. 20,000. For senior associate. Oh, sorry. I thought you were going from training associate to associate first. Yeah. Well, let me jump back up here. 30 for senior so This is what we, this is what we plan on promoting. 30,000 points. In three months, and four licensed agents, senior associate. Associate's cool. We're, we're, we want to we'll make you guys make some income, right? You can go full time with senior associate if you run your, if you run the business right. So thirty thousand points in three months and four licensed agents, right? So if I'm Zach, I'm looking at this like, all right, me and Carlos, we got to get two more licensed agents, right? And collectively, in three months, do 30,000 points. If you break that down each month, that's 10,000 points a month amongst your team. Right? And it's rolling three months. So if you take September, October, November, right? Let's say you don't hit it in November, September falls off. October, November, December. So you got to use October, November, December. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. It's rolling. Okay, that's why I said you always got to be running. Okay, MDs. 40,000 points. Four months, right? Three months. Oh, I'm sorry, three months, sorry. Five and licenses. Five licenses. So when I saw that, I was like, shoot, 10,000 more points and one more license, I'll be an MD. You guys got that? That's huge, man. That's huge. So that's why September and September, October, November in the industry are the biggest months in financial services. Just so you know. So, and then you guys got a camp. Maybe you have like a, a campaign going on, 25,000 points or something like that. Yeah. What is it? The race to 25,000. The race to 25,000. They're giving you extra money for hitting a, a, a production goal in your category. Huge! They never did that. Only offered to training associates and mar to marketing directors. Man, you guys got it good, man. So, is this doable? Yes. yes. How many? How many? Who's going to senior associates in the next ninety days? All right. Last time, I started got the memory. Last time, we raised our hand all the way up. All right. How many MDs? 90 days. 
pick your name. I don't know where you want to go. Whatever you want to start. Right? <laughs> but uh, this is so doable, you guys. If you guys get really focused on, like I said, the one to two fifty every single week, it'll blow us out the water. So, man, that is just so good, you guys. You, you guys, you gotta make a decision and be good. When you get good, the business gets good. Okay. Questions? It means guests to the BPM, guys. Guests to the BPM, one and two fifty, guys. One and ones during the week. All right. Um, pumped up fire. I'm super excited. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. I thought I forgot, huh? We're still pumped. <laughs> All right, you guys are awesome. Have a great weekend, Labor Day weekend. Go to some barbecues, recruit some people. Yes. I mean, hire some people. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, bring some blow this thing up, you guys. We'll see you guys next week. Good night. Good night.